Hey guys, we're back with another episode of Taco Impostor. Right now, while I'm recording this, it's January 1st, 2023. That is crazy, but hey. You know? Whatever, right? You have to get to that point eventually. Time is linear. So, anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, um. What was I saying? Yeah, so I mean, I was just thinking about stuff. Now that it's 2023, I'm thinking about things like, uh, turn up a little bit, because I have to turn the incentive up a little bit, uh, like, I'm thinking about things like, um, 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 turn it up a little bit, because I'm talking like this, 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 like, I'm thinking about just different things, and I'm like, wow, okay, um, things like friendships, right, I'm thinking about, like, friendships, and thinking about things that I did during this year, did I do anything that was great, did I do anything that was, like, massively spectacular, no, no, I did not. Because even in past years where I didn't really do anything, like, crazy, right, I at least did things like I started a podcast or I, 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 I tried to make more videos. Like, I wish, where's the, like, is there that YouTube uh, recap thing? I wonder if that's, a, like, a thing. Right? Ugh, is that a YouTube recap email? I used to get that email. I don't know if they still get that email. I may have gotten that email and I just didn't, like, see it. I'm not sure, right? I have no idea what I'm, like, actually doing, right? Dude. Nah. Um, where's that drive log? I wonder. Anyway. Oh, crap. Crap. So, yeah. This is probably going to be a much, much shorter episode. I'm not doing this forever, because it's really late at night. Anyway, um, uh, so, um, yeah. Let's see if I got one. Uh, uh, no, from actual YouTube. Is it from Google? Mm. From YouTube. What? No, because it's from YouTube Gear Best. No, I just want YouTube. Not from you. Definitely not from you. Get out. Just here, and then from YouTube. No, just YouTube. Not Gear Best YouTube, just YouTube. <sighs> you from Google? I'm going to be from Google. I don't know. Please insert a valid email address. I don't know what... <laughs> hmm. That's the problem. Just look at this recap. Ah, there you go. Okay, so I do have one. Okay, sorry. So it took me a second here to find it. But it was... Your YouTube... Your 2022 Snapchat for YouTube. Total views for this year was 33,000 views. That's actually crazy to me. That is crazy to me that 33,000 people watched my... That's insane. Watch time is 32... No, 62,000 hours. Minutes, 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 minutes. Okay, like, whoa. Total likes in the whole year was 97. Some people can get millions, but, like... I guess not crazy anyway. New subscribers, 32 months with the most views. March was the month with the most views. The video, your top video, your top viewed video of the of this year, again, still the same one, grand day out. Your top viewed short of this year was some stupid part. A, a repost of a stupid thing I found on Instagram, on Instagram, I reposted one day. Now it says, you reached final boss status. What does that mean, final boss status? 19,000 total live stream minutes. On which channel? Really? This year? Oh, I think it was this year that I got... No, I feel like I can't... No, I got canned this year. I got called... Really? Thank you for... Thank your fans... For... My... Whoa. Thank your fans for... At my year on YouTube. Total likes, total minutes watched, and then what's this? Day since your first upload. Wow. All time likes. The whole, whole channel has only 897 likes. Eh, well. 
All time comments. I have a thousand. I have a thousand comments. That sounds like a crazy number for my kind of channel. All time shares. Really, two hundred thirty six times my video has been shared. That's that's pretty and crazy. Incredible. That's about it. Okay. Now that you're expanding the YouTube Partner Program and launch, we're expanding the YouTube Partner Program and launching new ways for you to grow. We can't wait to see you put your spin on twenty twenty three. Never stop exploring your creati creativity. Keep inspiring. Stay playful and bond with new fans along the way. Create a short. No, thank you. Okay. I just posted a short today. So and now, now let me see if there's the same one for. The, I just want to know how many hours of streaming I did on my other channel because, uh, like halfway through this year, le or maybe like a little bit less because like maybe it was no, it was a little bit more because it was like July or something. No, no, it wasn't July. No recap for this year. Ugh. Really? I didn't get a YouTube recap email this year on this channel? Interesting. On the other channel? Well then. I have to look it up myself, I guess. Yep, 2022. Wait, 422 or 2023? 422. Oh, really? Anyway. What is this? I never read this, did I? Oh, sorry, I'm just reading some evil. Sorry, whoopsies. <laughs> I was like forgetting that I was even on. Sorry. We. Oui. Oh. Anyway, I'm <laughs> just sorry. Um, yeah. So I'm like, do I have friends? What friends? What did I do this year? That was, that was, so that was YouTube, and just in my life in general. I didn't do crazy things. That was the other, okay, that's the other thing, too. I look back at the year, and I go, I didn't do what I wanted. Like, I look back, I should have done all these things. And then I'm like, that's only looking, so it's, it's, it's a 2020 thing. Hindsight is 2020. You can't just be, like, looking at it going, but... You can't, you can't, you can't look at it like, or say, like, sorry, you can't say that in hindsight. I should have done this, I should have done this, I should have done this. It's like, it's all hindsight 2020. At the time, you thought it was fine, because you're like, whatever, I don't care. Also, I don't think I like what I, like that I didn't do things because the leader, you, you know, of the young adults. Because a lot of things that I didn't do were young adult events that I could have done, two or three of them. And I'm like, oh, I should have done this. Or things at a certain other church is like, oh, I should have done that. Cause, oh. Also, I'm relying on another friend because I don't have Facebook, and I hate Facebook. I'm never going to get Facebook. And he's like, well, you missed that because, you know, whatever. Well, you're not on Facebook, so you didn't get them that message. And then and then he'll be like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I'm not going to remember. I was like, oh, my. Like, yeah, I forgot. You don't have Facebook. I was like, yeah, you know that, friend. And my brother's also made that point, too. You click at Facebook and fix your problem. I'm like, no. If I get Facebook, I just um, come to their stupidity of still using Facebook. Facebook is such an old and antiquated technology, but we're all in a group, like, we're all in that age. We're in, like, the last group of people who use Facebook. There was a time five years ago we were all using Facebook. Don't get me wrong. Everybody, literally everybody was using Facebook. And it's like, like, literally everybody was using Facebook. All my friends, all the people, they were all using Facebook. Five, seven years ago. Ten years ago. But, now, nobody uses Facebook. Nobody uses Facebook. No, or your grandma doesn't even use Facebook. Although, your grandma doesn't use anything, but... But, like, like your parents... Or, like, the millennials. Because we're the gen... Well, that the depends on what age you're talking. Like, because I don't really know when millennials start and Gen Z... Or millennials end and Gen Z start, really. I always told millennials end in 99. 
and Gen Z starts in 2000. That's what I've heard. But then again, then there's all this, like, millennials, then there's Gen X, then there's Gen Z, and I'm like, what? It's like Gen X, and then there's... What? There's Gen X? What? Yeah, generations are just kind of dumb. Also, gen I've also heard that generations are not, like, there's no such thing as a solid foundation for, like, this is what a generation is. <laughs> so for me, it's like, oh, or at least what, you know, what I've, like, figured out is, like, hello? Hello, 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 Yeah, sorry. I'm trying to figure out why it's not, like, <sighs> it's not going where I want it. There you go. Um, you know what I mean? Generations aren't, like, a solid thing. Oh, oh. All, like, generations are from here to here. That's what it is. Nah, there's always, like, overlap and whatever, from what I've heard. Because it's, it's also the kind of thing where it's, like, young adults, right? Well, well, because I do a young adults group. But what is a young adult? Like, when does a young adult stop? And a young adult start? Like, when does a young adult... Because a young adult starts at... Like, it's easy to figure out when they start, actually. Now that I think about it. Like, it's, it's an adult. 18. That's That's easy. But also... Because I do one at my previous church, and I do one at my, like, current church. And the one at my current church has, like, a defined, this is what a young adult is. They've decided. That's not really true, but this is what they've decided. Or, like, you know, it's not, like, uh, like concrete, this is what a young adult is. But it's, like, this is what they've, like, decided. It's, like, it's 18 to 30. 18 to 30. 18 to 30. They've, like, decided. 30 is a cutoff. You're 30, you don't come anymore. Like you, you can't come to a young adult anymore. You're you're not you're a like a real adult or a true adult or a old adult if that makes sense. Anyway, and then this one at my previous church hasn't really decided what, or they haven't like concretely come up. They used to have a thing. Well, way back in the day, they used to they used to, that church used to, or they wanted to set it up that way, but it never ended up being that. It was that they wanted like young adults to be like, 18 to 24, and then they wanted, like, a separate group to be 24 and over. But that didn't really happen. It just ended up being two groups of the same young adults. Because <laughs> they had it on two different days of the week, a young adults group. At least that's is what I remember. I was not, or this is what I've heard. I wasn't there. I wasn't doing any of these things at the time. I was too young. My brother was doing stuff there, so. And so it's like, and he said, it's like, yeah, it didn't end up being young adults. Or it didn't end up being two different groups. Like, it just ended up being the same young adults from the first one coming to the second one. And vice, I think vice versa also. I think this never happened that way. It just ended up being two different gr two groups, two of the same, like two different nights that they do the same thing. <laughs> At least that's what I've heard. I don't know if that's like 100% true, but anyway. Um, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, so what I was saying, yeah, what did I do this year that was like crazy good? Like, that I, but I'm like, I'm at, so many people, but then I'm like, so I met a lot of people, I did a lot of cool things, did I do cool things though? This year was, was simultaneously probably one of my favorite years ever in my life, one of my favorite years, it's not my favorite, I know what my favorite was, but, um, that would be 2018, but, um, I feel like it was like, and like, the not worst, but like this like, I should have done more though, but then I'm like, I'm only saying that because I didn't know at the time. I'm only saying that because now I know that she is leaving the leader of the young adults. So I'm like, oh, I should have just done some evidence. But at the time, I didn't know that. Or I knew that. I just didn't know when. That was the thing. I knew that she was leaving. I didn't know when. I thought she would be leaving like in January. But no, that I realized. I'm like, no, but like, I think she said that and it didn't. I've already talked about all this in episode 100, but I said it in like this, like, but what the heck? Like, what the heck in the sense that I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna. Never mind. I just have to think of something. Sorry, I'm just thinking of something else. Sorry. Um. Yeah, so, like, uh, because, I, like, I thought, but then I'm like, no. But when she said that date, I was like, oh, that makes a whole lot of sense. I just assumed. I don't know why I assumed that, but I just assumed she would go to the end of the year. I don't know why. Nope. Because when then she said that, I'm like, 
You know, but that makes sense because school starts in September. It's like, oh, yeah, right. She went back to school. Oh, okay, so she was going to school. Whatever. Whatever. I mean, you know. Anyway, she went. But it's like, oh, no. I don't like telling her. Telling you all her secrets. I don't know. Um, let's see. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so. What did I do this year that was, like, crazy? Oh, all the people around me did crazy things. I can tell you that much. I can tell you my friends all did crazy things. Like I told you the story of the thing my friend was in Italy. Italy, yeah. Went through a crazy year this year. Crazy unbelievable. But I did come back to not come back to Jesus per se, but I like found a group of people that I can like talk to and like are great people again. Cause I'm sorry, I'm gonna say this right now. The church I go to, I don't like it at all. Not that I don't like it, but I never connected to it. I said that to a guy at my not my, but at the the young adults like youth, young adults like rally we have like once a month. And I said to the guy, I'm like, you know, I never connected to the church I'm at. I never felt like purpose and like meaning and like. And he goes, how many are there? Maybe like ten. I think it's like fifteen twenty. I think I way overestimated how many people there were. Are over shot the number. Because now I'm thinking about it, I'm like, there's like 10, at best, young adults at my current church. And the whole way they set up young adults is not the same as they do it here at all. Like, at all. At my previous church. It's this weird thing. Also, they have this really bizarre thing of, like, limiting what they do. It's very weird. I don't like the church way they set up anything at the church. They don't feel like there's a community. They feel like it's just some thing you come to every, like once a month, like our an our monthly, you know, thing. Like almost like saying, like, oh, Jesus is only good, good, good enough once a month. That's it. We're not gonna do it every every week, every you know, every week. No, 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 no. We're not gonna have a weekly Bible study. No, that's like way too much for us. It's like what? I, I don't get that church confuses me so much. Because they had the youth group every two weeks. And I was like, but why? Why every two weeks? Why? Explain to me why you have it every two weeks. I never asked somebody that. I should have asked somebody that. I think I didn't really care at the time. Because I didn't like the youth group super much at that church. I don't know about it. I just didn't love it. So I was kind of okay with it being two weeks. But then like when I got out of it, I was like, but Why? Or right before I got out, actually. Right before I got out, I was like, why is it going to be two weeks? What? Who? Who's idea? Can you not... Can, I was going to say, like, can the youth leader not... Or does the youth leader not want to do his job every week? Oh, it's too hard. Oh, it's all too hard. I want to do it every two weeks. Give me a week off every... Like, excuse me. Every other youth group I've ever heard about... I've only ever been to one other one, which is the previous church of that. But every youth group I've heard of does it every week. I'm like, that's just weird. And they have weekly Bible studies and they have weekly this and they have weekly this. These other places, somehow it's like, no. No. But then they'll have like this thing that they call um, home groups, right? That can happen every week. I don't get that church. Also, that church hasn't come to the point where, because my previous church did did. A, Look, I have a lot of problems at church. But the things that they did right, they did really well. Like, they did things like getting people to Jesus. They did pretty well. They did pretty dang... Well, I personally think they did decently. Keeping people in Jesus? Eh, that's a whole different thing. Because there's a thing in the Bible that says... The milk and, and, like... You have to start with milk, obviously. But you have to eventually get to the meat. You have to be able to eat meat. You have to be able to take in meat. And they never did a very good job of that. But anyway, I'm not going to go bashing them <laughs> in this podcast. But I'm just like... And the thing that they did really well was having things that were not Jesus. Like, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all, at all. Like, nothing to do with Jesus. Like, But then, sprinkling just enough Jesus into that thing to have someone, like, look into it. Think, oh, there's Jesus in that. But not shove down your throat Jesus. Like... And that's what my that's one thing I think my current church just does not do very well. They don't do Jesus. Or events that don't have Jesus. It's all Jesus. 
And I'm like, I think I said that to my, to one of the youth leaders, right? I'm like, to one of the youth leaders, right? And I was like, you can't. You have to have events. I think my friend said that too. I think he said, you have to have events that have nothing to do with Jesus. Because the other problem with, with, with that is the, 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 well, actually the previous youth pastor, um, had, um, this really weird idea of like, no, it's all gonna, like, after a while, they were like, no, it's all gonna be just Jesus things. Things that are like, it's gonna be basically a Bible study. Every week. I'm like, that's a terrible idea. You need, youth group was a place that you could bring your friend to, like, three out of the f- four weeks a month. Three to the four Fridays a month. Yes, maybe once a month you would have, like, a a thing that was very, you know, Jesus-focused. You know, a, 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 a worth, worth, a worship night, or a, or a, a worship night, or a, go, you know, a youth rally, or a whatever, doing something. I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, because there were, I'm thinking of what they were, or like, going to help some Christian organization, like, you know, like, because we have, like, food banks, and we have, like, that kind of stuff, right? Or cleaning up, like, or whatever, whatever it is, right? I don't remember exactly what we used to do, because it was, like, literally 10 years ago. It's insane how time flies like that. Like, that you, that, that felt like, or, like, part, sometimes it feels like it's, like, immediate, like, now, which is crazy, but anyway, like, it was, like, yesterday, but anyway. Um, and you need things that don't have, like, Jesus shoved it down your throat. You know what I mean? Because the problem with this current church is they have no events that they do that I don't have Jesus shoved down your throat. Now, they've, they've gotten a little smart about this, and they've said that every, that they do it twice a month. They, or they do, sorry, I didn't say what, what they do. They do the young adults twice a month. One is a, like, event, or just, like, a hangout, and one is, like, a discussion. The other problem, I think, I, I think, the problem is, they don't separate any of their things from the Sunday morning thing. Like, I go to the other young adult in my old church, and it's like, no. They separate it from what, or at least it was separated, now he wants to, like, sometimes connect it to what he's going to say on Sunday. The, the pastor, because here is the thing, the pastor now runs it, and I'm like, oh, I, I thought it was going to be, like, bad, like, oh, you're out of touch, he's not horrible, but there is something about the previous person, how she did it, where it, like, felt like she was, like, your friend, I don't know how to explain it, anyway, <laughs> she felt like she was your friend, as opposed to, like, this, like, not disconnect, but this, like, um, you lose the relatability. I don't know. There's something about it. You lose the relatability somehow. I don't know. I don't know. You lose the relatability with this guy. Not that he's like some, you know, ancient, you know, like, you know, Catholic pr- priest where he's like, you know, 60, 75 years old, 80 years old. You know what I mean? And it's like real, there's a real disconnect and there's no relatability with the people. No, but it's definitely a completely different thing. And I was thinking about this one time, and I was thinking about this one, like, recently, and I was like, and if she if she asked me, like, how's it going? I would be like, it's just not the same. No, it's not bad. It's just not the same. She had some, I don't know, anyway. What was I just talking about? Yeah, so she wants to connect it to the thing. So she did it in this way that, that had nothing to do with the Sunday morning. Because somehow, they just wanted to, sc- at my new church, at the current church I'm at, They want to, like, always connect back and, like, you to talk about what happened on Sunday morning. And my friend, who goes to the old old church, came to a few of my, like, new church's young adult stuff. And it's like, he kind of said, because my dad asked him, okay, so how'd you like it? And he was kind of like, it's fine, it's good, it's nothing bad. The only problem he said he had was, you kind of have this, they make it out to be like you had to have been at the Sunday morning to, like, know what they're talking about. Now, he's a well-versed Christian, so he, like, could still talk about things about the subject. So, you know, or well enough, you know, so he could talk about the subject. 
But what if you're just not the greatest, well-versed person, like, and you're trying to bring a new friend there? If they don't, like, it feels like, it also feels kind of like an exclusive thing where, like, well, if you weren't there on Sunday, you won't understand what happened. You won't understand any of this, what we're talking about. It's like, what? Why? That's so, like, that's dumb, kind of. Anyway. And it doesn't become a, like, because, I don't know, they, I think they treat that young adults group is treated as, like, a, um, I think it all hang out thing, just like a, I don't even know how to explain it. But the other one is treated as like a Bible study. We're going to study the Bible. Well, maybe not. Because now I'm thinking about it and he doesn't necessarily always think of it as like Bible study. The pastor. <sighs> no, sometimes I think of topics. Yeah, yeah. And, and not that we didn't have topics at the new, at my other, my, my current church is Young adults, it's just, I don't know, something, I don't know, they just, oh, it's just weird. I'm not saying it's bad, there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just a different way of doing it, and I don't think I like it that way. Also, you have to have... stuff to do that is, well, also, okay, that isn't Jesus-oriented. But the pro I think the other thing about that, too, is the other church made this kind of, like, um, network of people to, like, run all these random things that have nothing to do with Jesus. Not, you know, they, you know, they don't, aren't Jesus, oh, we ain't focused, like, for f Jesus first and foremost. So they had a thing. And I don't think this church, this, my previous church did that. My new church, or the current church, doesn't have the same kind of network to say, oh, I'll run a basketball thing on Saturday mornings, or I'll run hockey on Thursday nights, or I'll run uh, fitness, or I'll run knitting, or I'll run board game night, or I'll run whatever. You know? Oh, we meet every Tuesday night, or we meet every, I don't know, Monday night, and we play... I was going to say D&D, &D, but I don't think you would play that at a church. But Although, that, that church is not, like, opposed to that kind of stuff. They're very, mar like, of being modern. I was gonna say new age, but no, no, or at least not progressive new age. If that makes any sense. No. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah. So like, it's very weird that way. Like, strange that the other church just doesn't have. But it's. I think it's also because they don't have people to do it. The, the current current church doesn't have people to do things like that. I remember telling the guy. I remember telling that same guy at that youth uh, youth, uh, young adults rally. So he said, "Well, what's wrong with the church, or what do you not like about the church?" I said, "They like pander to you almost, not pander. Pandering is stupid. That's not the right word. They like, what's the word? They humor you in a way, like they're like, yeah, 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 okay, maybe. But then they never take any of your advice." criticisms or seriously for anything just kind of keep going on doing whatever they want to do it's like the congregation doesn't make i mean no yeah i said what did you like about the church i'm like the diversity there's a very there's a big diverse i mean yes it's like 30 percent italians family italian families and it's like 10 percent of those 30 percent or 15 percent of those 30 percent are the same italian family Nah, maybe not that much. Maybe not that much. Maybe like 10%, 5 five ten percent Anyway, it's like... But then I'm like... Oh, so there's hierarchies. Political hierarchies. In other churches. It wasn't just the previous church. Got it. Got it. Wow. So wow. And it's like... Also, I'm sorry. I'm going to say this right now. They also have this weird idea of, like... Because my mom was talking about that in how she was talking to someone... Or she was talking to someone... Or she remembers someone who would say something like... She remembers talking to someone from, her, from like, a way, way, way back Catholic church where the the priest would take them out for, like, a dinner because they, cause they took out the families who were the 
not the elders, but the wardens, I think, is that what they're called? To, like, a dinner. It was, like, this thing, and she was like, but why don't you just use that money for, like, better things? Funnel into the church or give it to, like, people needy, you know? And it's like, yeah, they have this weird thing, too, of, like, my church. I was like, buying really, like, technology, expensive technology. I think I heard a piece of something, and I was like, that's how much? Whoa, 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 whoa. How much did you spend on that? Oh, my God. What? Oh, that's insane. But I thought to myself, well, I mean, I'm not going to, you know, change their minds and say, like, you know, you know be like, you know, there's not point of this, right? I think, I don't know. But also, they want to, like, modernize, but there's a difference between, I don't know, my brother had this idea where he had this, like, thought where, because he used to go to this, we used to go to this, um, it's called, um, Breakaway. So it was like a fall retreat, right? It was a fall retreat. Went to this fall retreat at our old summer same summer camp, right? And you would always see them wanting to get more elaborate, crazy, wacky technologies, you know? And he thought to himself, but that's not the point. The point of this whole exercise, the point of this whole retreat, the point of this whole thing is to is to is to um what's it called? Is to Get kids closer to Jesus, right? That's the whole point. And I'm not, look, I'm not saying you can't, you know, have lights and you can't have whatever, but, like, when you're focusing on that, because he used to say, he used to say, like, what does the kid going to remember, right? Is the kid going to remember, look at the flashy lights and look at the cool, look at the flashy lights and look at the cool, uh, you know, smoke machine and look at the, like, lasers and look at the whole, like, no, or are they going to remember the, like, deep conversation they had with their counselor about Jesus, right? <laughs> it's like, are they going to remember the deep conversation? Well, maybe he was talking a little, but maybe he was thinking too much of himself in these conversations, because he went, what did I remember? The weird flashy lights and the fog, uh, the flashy lights and the fog machines and the, like, loud music? Or did I remember the conversation I had with the counselor? He's like, I remember the conversation, the deep conversation I had with the counselor. <laughs> So, but that was him, too. And, and not everybody's like that. Not everybody's like that. Not, and not everybody's going to have a deep conversation with their counselor, right? No, no. And yeah, I don't think it's horrible to buy things. Cause it, does say in, it does say somewhere, where does it say that? It says it in, I think it's, I don't know, it's one of the things Paul says. He says, like, you can be in the world, but not of the world. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. But if that stops you from, from getting closer to Jesus, then you're like, whoa. Cause I think it was, because uh, I believe the, the, like the, the concept is lordship, or like the, the idea is lordship, where it's like, if Jesus is not your lord, like, it's basically the idea that you can do almost any of these things in life. Like, almost all, like you can be it, enjoying all this, doing all this stuff in this world. But if it's getting you, like, but if you're not, or, or like, you're putting that in front of Jesus, or God, Jesus, then it's like, whoa, whoa. You might want to rethink it and say, get rid of it, you know? Yeah, so. Yeah. So, like, yeah, I don't I think there's, like, a huge problem with it. I can see why it's useful, right? I can see why some of these things are useful, right? But then it's like, but then you, like, think about it, and you're like, but is it getting people close to Jesus? But is this getting people close to Jesus? Or is it just, just you people thinking, oh, I just want a flashy new toy. Like the people running the church. It's like a flashy new toy. Because my favorite church did the same kind of stuff. I, I think about it now, and like, I remember a guy. He's very cynical. What, is that the right word? Cynical? I don't know. He's very um, critical, I guess. Definition of cynical. Here's the definition of cynical. Believing that people are motivated purely by self-interest. Distrustful of human sincerity or integrity. No. No, more like he was very critical of the church. Was like, but a li Actually, maybe there was a little bit of cyn cynicism in it. But he was thinking, like, what's with this church? Like, spending all this money on random crap. 
random things that's like, is that going to get you to Jesus? Is that going to get more people to Jesus? No. It was just like, st not stupid. Because it looked nice and it was a very nice thing. It was like, it's the, because it was things like, the church one year rented this like star that they put up in a sanctuary, and then they rented a one of those uh, what do you call those? For, uh, not forklift. What do you call them? Like the 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 things that you can like you go up and down on. Like it's like a oh, what are they called? Lifts or whatever they're called. Like lifts where you you know you can go really high up. I don't know how to explain them. And the guy was like, he was that was like I think he fi I think he found out how much it cost and it was like it was like two hundred fifty dollars or something or three hundred dollars to do this. And I was like, why? What did that bring anywhere? What did that... Uh, anyway. Ugh, it was just bizarre. <laughs> anyway. It's kind of like the Catholic thing of, like, the really nice-looking... Look at our nice, lovely Catholic Church. But that doesn't matter. That's not the point. It's not to look good in some, like, here we are a better, you know... I don't know, looking? I don't know how to explain it, how to say it, but, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. You know, it's like a stained glass windows, churches, where it's all, like, beautiful. Like, yeah, it's nice. It's beautiful. I don't think it's horrible. But I'm saying, is that getting people closer to God, closer to Jesus? Like, are you getting, or are you getting more people to Jesus with this? No, you need none of this. It was like I was watching a Matthias video, and it was like, look, okay? Matthias was like, yes, I know that on this earth, you need to do things like, you know, mow your lawn. But if you read the grand theme of things, grand scheme of things, in the grand scheme of things, in God's ultimate plan, in God's um, purpose, in God's, you know, um, will, in God's per in divine... I, uh, I don't know what do you call it, divine purpose, right? His plan. That doesn't matter. Mowing your lawn doesn't matter. Not at all. And so that's kind of thing, what I think about it. You're like, it's not going to get people to Jesus. It's not. I think that's a little bit of, a little too much of what people think. Or, or, or what are they going to say? A little too much of what my church thought, and a lot of churches thought too in twenty, like in when during the pandemic, where it was like, well, it's all we have. Like, you first of all, first of all, I'm gonna say this right now: you didn't have to shut down at all, not at all. You could have said to the government, "No, this is stupid." Once we figured, no, because that's the thing that blew my mind. Like, once we figured out, no, because I learned, or I figured, like. I came to the conclusion, well, hey, this really wasn't that bad because, or, or, this re they really want to make it out to be worse than it is because, because, think about it, right? Once you learned that, like, it's really not that bad, how did the world just not go back to normal? Look, I'm not going to get into a whole thing about the pandemic is, like, stupid because I'm not saying the pandemic was, was, Either fake or stupid, like wrong or stupid, or there was n there was no not as bad as it was. No, no, it was bad. The only thing I'm saying is, but why are we not going back to normal once we found out? Oh, the pandemic is really just, you know, it can't really get you. So, eh, who cares? Or it's not going to get most people. You know, it's got the same whatever, right? Or somebody made the point to me, or made the point that they said, you know how they said at the beginning. Well, it's going to be, you know, it takes two weeks. If you have COVID, you got to wait two weeks. Then you, then you've, you've, you've overcome the COVID. Like, you, you know, naturally you can get over it into about two weeks. We all stayed in their house for a month, or at least, or or two months was it, before they like let, at least here they let us out, right? They let us go out and do things. I think, right? Oh, actually, wow. Almost like two and a half months, maybe closer to three months. How how did we not how did none of it exist after that like we all stayed in our house like nobody spread anything so it should have been gone so so they made it made made it up thinking oh it's still here or whatever I don't know anyway anyway what does that have to do with anything what are they even talking about just now I don't even know man I gotta go to bed it's really 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 late I gotta go to bed but anyway 
What was I saying? Yeah, so, what was I saying? Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So they thought way too much highly, like, oh, well, we need to keep our, like, live streaming going because that's the most important thing. And it's like, because you can't have actual people here. And I'm like, I'm, I've also learned, or, like, figured out about myself. I'm definitely a very um, agreeable person where it's like, I don't want to ever make waves about anything. I'll even think of something and be like, that's wrong. But I still have this weird thing where, like, that could be wrong. But... I mean, it's your own choice, so hey, if you think that, hey. And then someone like my dad is like the complete opposite of that. He sees something that's wrong, and he'll be like, no, I have to tell, I have to say something about that. I have to say something to someone about that. No, that's wrong. You can't be doing it. It's like, dad. And sometimes it's 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 valid, war warranted, right, to go and do that. But other times it's like, it's really not as that bad. Or he'll tell the wrong, I don't want to say the wrong person, but he'll say he'll, he'll he'll tell it to someone who just like has nothing to do with the thing. It's like, well, it, he's not gonna change your problem, fix your problem. <laughs> he's not gonna fix. He can't fix that problem. He's not in charge of this. <gasps> yeah, well, he's the leader of like, no, he's the pastor, so he's gonna no. He doesn't make that decision. Well, it's good, you know. Should, should he should know that? It's like, no, he's not gonna make that decision. He's not anyway. That's a whole that's a whole different thing, but a slightly different topic, but very much um uh what's it called to that like they thought that was like the most important thing, so they like upgraded stuff and got a second camera at least they're not like my previous church i i 'cause I talked to the a v guy right <laughs> my friends I'm friends with the a v guy at the previous church, my previous church, and he's like, yeah, we spent like x x amount of money, I'm like, you spent how much money?" I'm like, oh my god. I thought our church was bad for like my my current church for just having to get new random crap that we don't need or need. But no, they were, oh my god. I was like, that's insane. That's insane. I'm like, no way. I thought to myself, no way. Because he was telling me how they don't even upload to YouTube directly. They go through some third-party service first. I'm like, and you have to have this box that's like X amount of money, some stupid, really expensive. I'm like, what the hell? That's insane. But anyway, I said again, I said it was going to be short, but nope. Here we are at 42 minutes, so gosh, man. Although it's like stupid late now, I should go to bed. Really should go to bed, but yeah, um, what was I saying? Yeah, so, I don't know. I'm just talking about my, my, my... So I started with, what the heck did I do this year that was great? <laughs> what did I do this year that was great? I got closer to Jesus, I have to say that much. Or at least I got closer to a group of people. Because I started the year, and I guess I could be honest about this now. It's far enough removed from this time. I said to my friend, who, we weren't really great friends at that time. We got even closer this year. By the, by the end, by this, like, closer this year. But I kind of, well, it was a friend I had known for a long time, but hadn't talked to in, like, years. And so last summer... My brother contacted them up again, was like, yeah, what's you doing with life, how's it going, whatever. And we were kind of on and off for, like, ever since we stopped youth group, we were kind of on and off. Even in, by the end of youth group, we were kind of just like, eh. So it was, like, on and off of, like, knowing, because we were, we were fairly close, ah! Like, well, I guess we were close because it was youth group. But we, like, kind of connected, and we were like, okay, so we're kind of close. We were, like, on and off for, like, years. And then last last year... He was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, I saw him like last summer or something. I was like, oh my god, it was great to see you again. And it was kind of awkward because like, what are we supposed to talk about? What are we supposed to do? It was a little awkward. I don't, we weren't like close. Because I've had this thought that like, you have that feeling of like, this is very awkward. And then the awkwardness like, just one day just cuts. And then you just feel like a natural, there's very natural like, I don't know how to explain it because I'm not a psychologist. So I don't know the brain, like, why we think of it this way. But, like, it is very much this, like, you start to, like, stop having that weird feeling. It's almost like just, like, a like a weird layer of, like, something you, like, smash yourself through after, like, oh, I passed through the, like, weird stage, you know? And now I'm, I'm into the, like, just feels natural. Like, 
I don't know how to explain it, but anyway. And so then, and then even for that year, we just didn't really do much. He tried to get me to go to the youth, uh, the young adults, and I was just kind of like, I don't really want to. Cause I also thought it was the same you know, group of people that was there like when I first went to young adults five years ago, where it was like, oh, it was even longer, six years ago. Holy crud. No, no, seven years ago. No, wait. Yeah, seven years ago. Seven years ago. Crazy. Anyway. And I'm like, I don't want to associate with these people. But those people, but apparently those people had long left. Just long left. And it was kind of sad. But it was like, for me at the time, I was like, oh. But I didn't know that at first. So this is like September to December of 2021. Where he was trying to get me to go. And I was like, mm, I don't know. It's kind of awkward. I don't know. I don't want to. Not really. You know what I mean? And I was like, kind of like, eh, I don't want to. And then somehow in twenty in January of twenty two Again I kind of feel like I should have gone to those things. Again, it's a hindsight thing. Anyway. In hindsight, yeah. But you can't anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, so um what was I saying? Yeah, so in twenty twenty two in January, I like I like broke down and was like, No, I need a place to go with Jesus. Because I'm doing none of nothing with this. I can't have this. I can't just do this. I just, no, it's not a thing. And he was, and I, I like, called my friend and, or on Discord, and he was, and I was like, he was like, okay, well, why don't you come to a, you know, Bible study? And I didn't come until, actually, maybe it came fairly quickly after that. Maybe like a, week or two after that, I don't know, I could check when the call was, and then when I first went, but anyway, I don't really care, and like, yeah, and so then I'm like, and then I think I ended that call with kind of like a, I don't know, maybe, I thought it was going to be so awkward, and I'm like, you know what, I'll go, I'll go to it, and it'll be, and it'll be fine, it'll be, it'll be okay. And I kind of had this, like, if I don't like it, I just won't go again, you know? And then I went to the first, and then, so, so, for the first, like, I think month, it was on Disc Discord, it was on Zoom, because we were still here, we were still, you know, technically in the lockdown. And so, it was like, bam. I was like, oh my gosh, I should have been going since the beginning of this thing, like, this next generation of young adults, you know? Or next era? I guess not generation necessarily, but era. It's like, and then, and then that like was the greatest thing ever. It was so good. Like it was just. It was the best thing I did this year. Like decision I made this year was like going to that thing. Oh my god, it was great. Cause I like got back to Jesus and like got had a group. Cause cause then then there was one of those times where I was like, what are you thankful for, right? And, cause she asked, like, what are you thankful for at one of the meetings? And I was like, that I could find a group of people that I can connect with. That I, and then there was another one where, like, a group of people I connect with, where I can read the Bible, like, with people, like, study the Bible with people. And then there's another, uh, different, um, you, uh, young adult, like, yeah, young adult meeting where it was like why did you come here and i <laughs> i kind of said well i don't want to say like i didn't have anything better to do but it was kind of like a it was because i think the past he was asking pastor was asking how well how like how did you get here and some people took it as like how did you get here like a like a literal or i walked or whatever and other people were like, well, I got here because, you know, like, why you're at young adults. And I said, I said that, which was, um, I had nothing better to do. And then I said, I wanted a good place to study the Bible because I, because the other one doesn't do that very well. It just takes whatever they talked about. That was like a cop out. Oh, well, we'll just talk about whatever the pastor talked about. It's fine. It's like, what? 
No, that's stupid. Anyway. And so that is kind of what I... And I said, I told my friend, I said to him, I think it was like in September or October? September, I think. I said, if I had not decided to do that, I don't think I would be a Christian right now. I don't think I would I would still be caring to the same extent that I did. And he's like, I'm glad you decided to go. I'm like, yes, I'm so glad I decided to go too. Because I met great people. I, 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 I had a place to, I have a place to, you know, study the Bible. And I have a place to talk to, like, people, like, honestly and real. Although, I don't know how deep you can really get with that, that group of people, now that I think about it. But, at least it's better than, like, Although, you know, I was going to say better than sitting in a room doing nothing, but, like, is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it is, it is, it is. So, anyway. What was I saying? Yeah, so. It's so late. Oh, my God, it's crazy. But, anyway, I should probably go to bed. <laughs> it's the first day of the year. I can stay up longer. You know what's probably going to happen? With me. I'm probably not even going to get up. I'm not even going to go to sleep. I'm going to, like, get, like, do something. And then just, like, mess with this. Anyway. I'm going to actually get to bed. Anyway. Yeah, so. So, like, I have a place to do. So, that's it. I, I, and, and from that first day where I broke down. I even I even cried to the ki to my friends. I was like. I cried on that call. I went. Can I, say, I think I kind of literally. I think I said these exact words. What am I doing with my life? Not in a. What am I doing with my life? I'm doing nothing. What am I doing with my life? In the sense that, like, what am I doing spiritually with my life? Am I doing enough for 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 Jesus, for Christian, like, you know, for my spiritual life? Am I doing anything? What am I doing? And he, like, kind of... That was a really good conversation. That was, like, a really good conversation because, like, it... Like, he, like kind of like broke it down and was like okay well what do you want out of it what are you looking to get and then how do you feel you can achieve that and how and like and is it like that kind of stuff where it's like well what do you what do you think you should be doing what do you feel because it's another one of those things where like well well i can't tell you what god wants you to do i can't but I can say what, how to get to a point of, if you think God wants you to do this, I can tell you how to help you, or I can help you to a certain extent get there. You know, I'm not, he's not the perfect person, you know, for that, but he was good enough, so <laughs> it's great. Anyway, what was I saying? Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, that's what happened, and then it all just flowed from that, and it was great things that I did during that with from that oh my gosh you were great oh yeah well, you know, I would have done anything I, that's the thing I would have done anything this year nothing I would have sat and walled away and melt nothingness but because I did because I I, I had to come to those that realization at the beginning of the year. What am I doing? And he was like, well, I mean, maybe it's time. I, I, so he kind of had that attitude. He didn't say it, say those words, but he ba basically had that attitude, like, maybe it's time to go back to, you know, try this year. And I'm like, like, are you young adults? It's like, yeah, maybe it is. Maybe it is time. Maybe it is time. Maybe it is time. So, yeah. Those, yeah. So I met some great people. And I have a great place to go and learn the Bible, and, and, yeah, so. Although it's not as great as it once was, because my brother used to go to the same church as young adult, and it was like a much better thing. But I, I think to myself sometimes, I go, yeah, but these are people who are dedicated, so maybe they're better people. Maybe you don't want, like, just half-assed people coming every so often. Right? And it's like, but, I don't know. But it still happens anyway. <laughs> you still have those people who come 
every so often. So, I don't know. I'm just saying. It's just weird. Anyway, what was I? What am I, like, trying to get at here? Like, what am I ending here with? I don't know. Because I'm trying to think, like... So, yeah. Because started started with what was... How was this year? And this year was, like, half decent. I don't know. It was half decent. I don't know. It wasn't the best year ever, but it was, like, a great, happy... I actually grew slightly in this whole year. And I didn't grow, like, super much, but I grew enough. Like, oh, I progressed in certain things. It's, it's actually pretty good. I posted something on Instagram, and it was... I put it, the song behind it. Uh, happiest Year of My Life. I don't know if that's the actual name of the song. You know, the song goes, Thank you for the happiest year of my life. That one. So, yeah. I mean, I gotta end this now. So, um, I gotta go to bed. I got bed, like, three hours ago, but anyway. Well, two hours ago, but anyway. What was I saying? Uh, yeah, so... Yeah. Because it was. It was one of the happiest years of my life. Like, I liked 2018. But this year... This year, there was... It's just something different about this year that, like, really was, like... Yes. And I feel like I have friends that I can talk to for... Not years to come, per se... Because maybe one day we'll just fall out. Fall out cause we're not, like, the closest of people. But for, like, at least the near like the, the near future, like, at least maybe a few more years? I don't know. You know? Right? You know what I mean? So, I'm not saying we we're best friends, but, best of friends, but, you know, I feel like we have, like, but I, I was also thinking, I was also thinking, too, right before I started this podcast, like, right before I started recording the podcast, I was like, I met a lot of people that were in this bait, because, because uh, last, I was going to say last, but it's actually the next podcast episode, which will be coming out, which will be recorded before this one, but coming out after this one, that's a stupid thing of time, it's weird, anyway, this weird thing of, like, I have, I have friends, I think of friends, because in the, in the episode that's coming up, I talk about how it's a totem pole of, of friends, friendships, or have totem pole levels. And I talk about it in, like, because we're in this place, whether it's school, work, whatever. But there's a, there's a different one where it's, like, a tier list or, like, a thing where it's, like, okay, the bottom of this existence is, or bottom of friendship is, like, the low lowest friendship is, like, I want you to rot in hell burn in hell. I hate you with a passion. I want you to burn in hell. Then there's a level above that where it's like, I hate you. I don't want you to burn in hell, but I <laughs> despise you. Like, like the bottom is like, I want harm to happen to you. I, I want to cause, maybe I don't want to cause harm, but I want harm to happen to you and I want you to burn in hell and I hate you with a passion. So that's like the furthest from like friends. Then there's a next level where it's like, I don't necessarily want you to be harmed or burn in hell, but I don't like you at all. Like, you know, then there's a the next level where it's like, I don't hate you, but I, I don't really care about you. I, I don't really want anything to do with you either. Like, eh, I don't really like you. I don't care. Well, there's a difference between it. Don't want anything to do with you. I don't care. I think it's more of a, I don't care. Like, I don't care. Or maybe it's more of like, a, I don't want anything to do with you. And the next level is like, I don't care. Like, eh, you're fine. Like, like, I don't hate you, but we're not really friends. I, like, know you. I've, I've, I'll I've, talk to you, but I don't really care. And then there's the next level where it's like, okay. This is just what I've come up with my, on my own. This is not some sort of, like, psychological. This is what friendship is. Psychology thing. What's all this friendship? No. But it's like... The next level is like... Yeah, I like you. We're not, like, yeah, I'll do things with you, sure. Let's do things together, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then there's the next level where it's like, I, oh, we're really good friends. I'll do things, 
I'm trying to think of what I'm thinking of now. Oh, my brain's all, like, foggy and, like, what I'm trying to think of right now. I can't remember saying this, and I don't remember what I was thinking. It was kind of like, okay, the next level was kind of like, our, like, we're good friends, I like you, I'll contact you. And then there's, like, the best, like, because I think, like, the difference between, like, level where it's, like, I don't hate you, but we're not great friends. Like, I'll talk to you, but we're not good friends. And the, the good friends are, like, if they contact you to do things. Right? Oh, you want to do something? Together? Like, yeah. And then the next level where it's best friends is like, oh, yeah, yeah. We'll do everything together. I'll tell you everything. Whenever there's a problem, you're the first person I go to. That kind of thing. And then I've learned, I figured out this year, or, like, from this year, like, I had a lot of people at that, like, I don't really care about you level. Like, we're not... Like, we're not enemies. Like, I don't hate you. But I don't like you, per se. You're just kind of like a, a, a very neutral, like... There's nothing wrong with you. Like, I don't have anything anything against you. I don't have a problem with you. It's just, I don't really care, either. That's a lot of those kind of people. Well, not a lot, but there's, a, there's like, good amount. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. This is a really long episode, so. And so when when I have friends like that are above that, I'm like, wow, like these must be really good friends. Like these must be like close people that I'll connect with for a while. And there's some people where I'm like, I don't know what level we're at. I don't know what like tier of friend we're at. And you're like, do you hate? You don't hate me though. Or at least you don't come off as you hate me. But I don't feel like you. We can like be above just the neutral level. So it's like, oh, I don't know what we are. And then, but. Mm, I don't know, you know, it's like, oh, and there's a few of those where it's like, we're not, like, best friends, but we're not, we're not friends, does that make any sense? I don't know, you know what I mean? We're not best of friends. But we're also not enemies. But I don't know if we're in a neutral state. Because there's certain times when you like. Where I feel like we're clo higher than that. We're closer than that in that relationship. But we're. But there's other times where I'm like. But I feel like you don't care. And you're just kind of like amusing me in some way. Like I don't know. I don't know. Like, you're just trying to be nice. Right? You don't really like me, but you're trying to be nice. It's like, ah, Because you can tell when someone, like, you're just, they're just being nice to you. Or to someone. They don't, like... And, and, and it, that's fair. Like, they don't connect super well. Because you don't have to be friends with someone to be nice with them. To them, like... I don't know. It's really strange. Anyway. But there's a lot of those, like, neutral friends that I've had to got this year i've met i've got i've had these like i made these friends that are very neutral like I've, and i'm like oh a lot of them are just kind of neutral i thought they were higher than high, like a a deep, closer friendship than they were because like, oh. i'm thinking about like no i don't think that was no which kind of feels sad but also it's like but that's life like you can't force people to be friends with you also you can be friends with someone and think highly of them but they don't have to think the same way with uh, with you. That's what, that's another thing I've like thought about now. Like I've come to that realization. I'm like, oh wow, they don't have to actually like you back the same way, or have the same like relationship with you that you do with them. Wow, very existential. Like wow, wow, jeez Louise. Like that's that's something to think about. That's like really profound. Like wow. Anyway, I think that'll be it for now, guys. Um, in the description is the Discord. The two Discord um, servers, right? The two Discord servers. Sorry, where are we going? Two Discord servers. Where is it? The two Discord servers. The email. Uh, if you want to, you know, 
leave questions, comments, concerns. Um, Taco Imposters at gmail.com, and then there's um, Patreon. So, uh, um, yeah. I stream almost every day on YouTube, youtube.com slash Andrew by channel. My name, just my name. So. I think that's uh, probably it for now, guys. So, adios, mi amigos.